So with Anchorman 2 coming out last year and 22 Jump Street this year, I feel like Hollywood's finally figuring out how to make good comedy sequels. About time. 22 Jump Street. So 22 Jump Street is a sequel to 21 Jump Street, which came out a couple years ago, which I thought that movie was awesome. That was really the movie that made people care about Channing Tatum at all, besides, you know, teenage girls. Him and Jonah Hill worked really well in the movie. It was a really funny blend of comedy and a little bit of action, you know. It worked. The formula worked then, it still works now, because in 22 Jump Street, it's basically the same movie. And I don't mean that in like a bad way, like Hangover 2, where it's like, no, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but it's not gonna be as funny as the first one. No, this is the same exact thing, and it works just as well as it did in the first one, because they acknowledge that it's the same exact thing. Like, the beginning of the movie starts off, and there's this really cool action scene, which is really awesome, and then they go back to Nick Offerman's office, and he just tells him, okay, so you wasted most of the budget on this scene, so here's what's gonna go down. We're gonna do the exact same thing as the first movie, no one's gonna notice, no one's gonna care. So yeah, just do that, it'll be fine. So then throughout the rest of this movie, they're saying, yeah, it's the same exact thing, we know it's the same exact thing, you're still gonna laugh because we're still doing it and it's still funny. So then throughout the rest of the movie, everyone's just saying, yeah, we know it's the same exact thing, just, just roll with it, please. The cast in this movie is still really funny, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum do a great job, they have great chemistry still. I think one thing that's just so cool about their partnership is that it's such an unlikely pairing. Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill, you'd never really think that would work, but you buy into it to a surprising degree. Ice Cube is given a lot more to do in this movie. There's one scene where he just freaks out. Funniest scene in the movie by far. It was, yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but it, it was hilarious. Another really funny part about this movie was the end credits. I'm not gonna tell you what they were, and I'm not saying that like, oh, the end credits was the best part of the movie because the movie was terrible. Obviously, you know from this review that I didn't think the movie was terrible, but I'm just saying even the end credits were really funny too. I don't know if we're gonna end up seeing a 23 Jump Street, but for right now, we have 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, they're both really funny movies. I'm not really sure which one I like more. I think 21 Jump Street might be like a notch above just because it was so fresh and original. I'd say it's kind of like Shrek 1 and Shrek 2. Like yeah, Shrek 1 I like slightly more. Shrek 2 is every bit as funny as Shrek 1 was, but Shrek 1 was like the original that started everything. And so it's such a unique story and everything. And yeah, Shrek 2 still had a great story. But I think Shrek 1 still inches it out by just that, that little margin right there. The so 22 Jump Street I thought was a really great movie. This summer is actually looking really good for comedies with this and Neighbors. Go see it if you get the chance. I'm gonna give 22 Jump Street a B plus. So 22 Jump Street and 21 Jump Street. The 20 Jump Street movies. Is that what they're called now? Whatever you think of either of those movies, comment down below with your thoughts on them. And thanks for watching this video. If you guys like it, you can click here to see more.